Uh, I would assume so. Okay, so we've been getting some details going on about the 2024 Sundance Film Festival. It is their 40th anniversary, but they're celebrating the 20th anniversary of a very popular film. We know it well here in Utah. It is Napoleon Dynamite. It debuted at Sundance in 2004. Yeah, that little movie was a Sundance movie. The majority of people who worked on it were BYU graduates. Sundance will show a remastered 4K version of the classic 2004 comedy. We talked with Basil C. Okos, a senior programmer for Sundance. He says seeing indie filmmakers take off after Sundance, it's exciting. We, we love to think of ourselves as a festival of discovery, um, where audiences are discovering these films for the first time, discovering talent for the first time. Uh, film filmmakers that have started here have gone on to have amazing careers. Actors that have had, that have had films in the festival um, have gone on to sort of really break out, um, and and we're excited about that. Creating cool stuff. Yeah, in total, eight independent films that got their start at Sundance will have official edition screenings. So this is exciting. Of course, you think about all the classic Sundance movies like Napoleon Dynamite, uh, Go Fish, Pariah, uh, The Times of Harvey Milk. Um, this is kind of where, you know, a lot of folks get their start in their career. It's become a little bit different lately compared to maybe 2004 when it was a little bit more on the indie side. I mean, they're still independent movies, but now they have some big names uh, backing them. You see Netflix, Apple, Amazon coming to town and buying these films for 10, 12, 15 million dollars. And again, that is launching their career mm -hmm. here in yeah. Utah. So much has changed, too, obviously, in those two decades. And I think a lot of people remember Napoleon Dynamite for the era that it came out in, but I think the history behind it and the roots from Utah, it's fascinating to me. Yeah, I'll start with Robert Redford, you know, several decades ago. If you haven't been to Sundance Resort, not Sundance Film Festival, they're a little bit different. If you're new to Utah and you don't know, Sundance Resort is in Utah County. Sundance Film Festival is mainly in Park City. But they have a whole little history tour, and you can see how Robert Redford started everything uh, here in Utah. He bought that little resort. He's like, I'm going to do a little bit of a film festival for my friends. And then it just, you know, just took off and grew and grew. So have you been to the Sundance, Sundance Film Festival? You're a little bit newer to Utah. Jamie hasn't done it yet. At least, if you're not going to go see a movie, you got to go up to Park City. I know the traffic can be a nightmare during Sundance, <laughs> yeah. but some of those parties, they're a little fun. So what we need is Chase to get us into those parties. Well, I know a few people. Yeah, he says <laughs> you guys gotta, they're fun. You know, we got to hang out with that you. Week, maybe. Okay. But well. Sundance 2024 tickets, um, they are actually on sale right now. So if you are interested in um, doing you know going and seeing more than just one film there are plenty of opportunities available so, for you to yeah, do that so many opportunities because it, it sometimes you don't want to drive up to park city they have several screenings here in, in salt lake, salt lake city Valley. and yep. sometimes they have one or two up in the ogden area as well mm -hmm. okay sounds good